Systemic failures have to stop now, and it starts by you taking bold action. And angry. You are not speaking to people. Emotional. Sacramento City Council meeting. If I may, if I may, please, excuse me. Mayor Steinberg responding to escalating outrage over Stefan Clark. Especially after the events of Monday night, um, it was important that even with the disruption, that we not um, uh, adjourn the meeting prematurely and that we give everyone the opportunity to be heard. I thought that was a very important thing, even though it was hard. Following a controversial response by Sacramento police. A Monday night protest through East Sacramento, resulting in 84 arrests, detaining journalists, as well as well-known faith and community leaders. Excuse me, there will be order in the chambers. Well, it's definitely different than most of our protests go in terms of the end where so many people were arrested. So I, I just don't know at this point. We're still collecting all the facts. I'm, I'm troubled by a lot of things, but one of them is that we have worked very hard over the last year to prepare for this inevitable announcement and to build the bonds of community. And I think what happened on Monday night was a setback. Richard Owen is a community leader, mediating at both the city council meeting and East Sacramento protest. We don't want to see violence. We love this city. We love what goes on here. Now, we don't think that all police are crooks or criminals. But we want accountability and we want it now. With less than 12 days to the one year anniversary of Clark shooting death, protests will continue. The honeymoon is over for the mayor. The honeymoon is over for the chief. Don't talk to me anymore about healing. Justice is healing. Explaining it's becoming more difficult to encourage peaceful demonstrations. Yes, it's making it more difficult. And if one more incident occurs like this, we're going to have trouble in this city. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.